This is, can you see anything up there? Look up there. I can't take my eyes off this or I'll lose it. See where I'm pointing at? You see anything up there? It, whatever it is, you can't see it. Only gets off heat. Oh, it just took a job for the left, right. Whoa, there's four of them. Firing in a pattern. Three of them, I mean. I'm, I went to those. There's three of them flying in a formation, Donnie. You don't see them? First of all, hi guys, this is Joey Franco from the O Hunter. Um, I wanted to remind everybody tonight of the 7 a.m. live stream I'm going to have, um, Central, 7 p.m. Central. Last night I went out and filmed the lunar eclipse at 2 o'clock and at 3.02 um, was the maximum uh, eclipse we were going to have here in uh, where I live by Lake Uloga, Oklahoma. Um, the first clip I'm filming at 3.03, 3 o'clock. 3 a.m. and a unidentified flying object flies right through like while I'm filming the uh, uh, lunar eclipse in thermal. It's amazing how you can see the lunar eclipse. It's just the shadow of the earth going across the moon and it cools it that much where you can actually see the difference in it and the first one has the, the um, um, UFO flying through it. The second clip I have is at two o'clock and you can really see the lunar eclipse because there's a little bit more of the hot area of the sun showing at two o'clock so you can really see the transition in it and at, th at uh, the next clip i have is of another ufo the same night um was last night november 18th or actually yeah it would be november 18th i don't know what time it was and um, the very last clip is uh, a walk around of the land I'm on and a few shots of the moon, how dark it was. I filmed everything in black hot last night, including the lunar eclipses. And you can see the difference in the color of the moon during the eclipse. And it shows how black it is. It's like black as coal. And then I do a walk around showing you the land about 13 minutes. Um, the horses in the backfield and how clear the thermal looks and stuff get an idea of how it works a little better when you're looking at land objects. Anyway, I, got, I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope to see you at the live stream tonight. Sorry, my voice is a little raspy. Anyway, uh, I love you guys, man. Uh, you guys have a good day, man. Bye. Okay, yeah, if we, we're, I'm recording the, uh, basically the uh, lunar eclipse. Um, you can see it a little bit. It's almost all the way eclipsed right now. I mean, we're right to, it's only supposed to be a partial here. But um, we're almost to the, what do you call it, the diamond ring? Getting close. I don't think it's going to be all the way here. And it's earlier than they said it was going to be. Hmm, <clears throat> very interesting. I should go get my camera and film this. It'd be better. But you can't see it on thermal. I'm set to black hot right now. You can see the little end of it right there. Earlier that was completely black, the moon when I was filming it. It was black hot. Very interesting. Oh, something just flew by the moon too, you see that? That ain't no bird either. Wow, the hell is that right there? Well, I got the kitchen object flying by. Wasn't ready for it. That was weird.
<sighs> anyway, that's the lunar eclipse. I mean, it should be black. It's set to black hot. He definitely caught an object. It was pretty much in focus, too. Anyway, we're just about all the way eclipsed now. We just got a little piece left. It's pretty cold out here right now. <clears throat> We've almost got a complete solar eclipse, lunar eclipse. I don't think it's going to get much more than that because it's not supposed to be a complete eclipse here where I live. And you see the black tip of it. That's about all it's exposed right now. It seems like it's getting more and more. Maybe I'll take a shot of it with my, my Nikon if I got it charged real quick. I'm going to go check this out. Okay, you guys. Filming the partial eclipse of the moon tonight. Show up on. I didn't think. Dogs barking. We had a full moon tonight. That this is a partial eclipse of the moon. It's a shadow of the Earth going across the moon and blocking the sun. So as soon as that sun goes off of the moon, it drops temperature real quick. I'm gonna stay out here as long as I can. It's pretty cold. I'm barefooted and uh, it won't be till the max until three o'clock. Maybe I'll come out again and try it at three. Um, I believe I'm set to black hot or white hot. I'm not sure, but that's cool. You can pick up a lunar eclipse. I'm going to come back out here at 3 and film it again. All right, man. Cool. There we go. There we go. There goes an object right there. Nobody's going to complain about me shaking. I'm doing the best I can. I don't know what that is. Well, we caught one object. I think I'm just going to take you guys for a walk around the property here. Um, live on um, three and a half acres by Lake Ulaga. Uh, about a mile and a couple miles from the dam. This is the front of the house. Front road here. Let's walk around. Let you see everything. That's the one side of the house. I believe that is the south side of the house. This would be the west side of the house. got a bum knee a little bit. I'm, I'm on about 4.1 power zoom. We're pretty well spread out here. This is one of the neighbors. It's further away than it looks because I've got it zoomed in. Um, I can zoom me on that house way over there that's uh, about 400 yards away. power there. Let me focus. And that's not bad for cropping. That's 25 power zoom at 400 and about 400 yards. I definitely shoot hogs at that distance there. And that's 
that's a long one right there. That's about, oh, I don't know, close to a half a mile probably. I'd have to do the math. This, um, I don't know, maybe a third of a mile. Oh, there's the horse, the neighbor's horse. That's why I can't be shooting in my firearms around here because we got horses that live real close. Well, let's go check out the horses. This would be the, I believe, the west side of her property here. There's the neighbor's horses right there. And I'd have a clear place to shoot. They're going to be moving. Or I could sight my guns in back here once the horses are gone because I've got clear all the way to the back fence there. Long ways the horses see me. Hey, horsey. How are you guys? Huh? I love horses. Horses are really cool. I'm set to black hot, by the way. He sees me. Look at him. <laughs> Hey, horsey, I'm here. I'm not trying to scare you. Hi, horsey. Hey, horsey. What you doing there, big fella? Huh? It's okay. There's his friend right there. That's his buddy. I don't even know my horse's, the owner's, horse's names. Pretty close to him now. I'm about oh, 20 yards away. You can literally see where their blood is at in their head. The main source of their where their blood is, their heat and their core. <clears throat> anyway, this is the other part of the the south side of the house. Now we're walking across the west side. Bye, horses. And let's take a look back at the property, our property here. Uh, this is a garage, shed, storage shed, trash pile right here. You can't really see, I'm too close. And, uh, something hot right there. I don't know if these people have cows or what. Might just be a bale of hay out there. It's still warm. It don't appear anybody's home right now over there. They're trying to sell that place. Seven acres for $178,000 with a crappy little barn house on it. I mean, I wouldn't pay that much for that place, but hey, they might get it. Housing's, housing's going up right now. Pretty clear. That's 640 by 480 zoom. I mean resolution, which is about the highest you can get on. Uh, I think there's one higher, 640 by 512 resolution, but that's about as high as you can get unless you're U.S. military. Which there is one scope out there that you can't buy that's thermal and infrared. And it comes with its own infrared built-in laser. But law enforcement and military don't want it sold to the public. And I can't remember who the heck sells that. Okay, here's the other side of the house. Propane tank, one of the cars. This is one of her friend's cars that were totaled right here. The other people live back over here. An old guy lives over here. I mean, we're pretty spread out here. It's pretty rural. 
I, I think it's a good place to film UFOs. That's another old truck right there. Doesn't have a reverse in it. I'll show you my Chevy 4x4 diesel here in a minute. That's another neighbor over there. There must be the heater vent over there. See, it's black. We're on black hot. Take a peek at the sky and see if I see anything. There's the moon. No white spots on it. This would just be an adventure. Thermal adventure around the pop property. Another trash pile right here. It needs to be burned. You'll hear coyotes out here all the time at night. Another shed right here. Another shed right there. Both my cars right here and my Pontiac G6 and my Ford Duramax diesel 4x4. Jacked up, right there, silver. There's my silver G6 right there. Let's walk around and I'll, I love my truck. I wouldn't trade it for anything. Perfect condition, that truck. It's got a lot of miles on it, but it's a diesel, so it'll last a long time. Be careful when I'm walking here. Here are the coyotes. There's a good view of my truck right there. Aluminum wheels. Jacked up about six inches. Coyotes sound creepy, huh? house, truck and car. It's almost getting so cold I'll have to start plugging that diesel in at night. I love my truck. It says Crazy Joey on the front of it. It's got a California plate on the front. Let's get another peek at the moon. I just looked at it a minute ago and something flew right by it. I did film it. I don't know what it was. Just an unidentified object until I look at it again. I don't see any animals out here tonight, but see how the thermal cuts right through the trees. You can see what's right clearly behind them where infrared will not cut through the trees. Like it, uh, it, uh, and the enemy can basically hide right in the shadows of the tree lines and blend right in. Where thermal, there's no way you're gonna hide in there. That's why all the fighter jets and um, everything is, uh, they use thermal. They actually got crossover. They can get thermal and infrared at the same time which is a pretty well protected technology, but I'm sure we'll get our hands on it soon. This is a big place. That's her land right there up to that little road right there. All this creek right through the middle of it right here. It comes right through there, the water. Pretty good UFO hunting place. Well, now we're walking back around to the front of the house again from the other direction. I just walked you right through the front, uh, right through the property, or all the way around. See, we're right back where we was. Anyway, I don't know how 
any of you would be interested in the surrounding terrain where I'm filming UFOs at now. There's that house I zoomed in on. And there's the garage in front of the house. It's going to be blurry because we're too close. It's going to be a little blurry at this range. I guess I could zoom. Okay, we're at 2.5 power zoom right now. Other, there's another little house on this property right here. That's where I'm going to be staying. Right in there. I actually rent that little house. And there's my truck. A jacked up Chevy. 4x4 four four with my cap out sticker on the back window, my Pontiac G6, and that's it for the walk around of the property there. I want to share it with you guys so you know where I'm at. This is 2.5 power zoom. Got a 12, almost 13 degree field of view, which is four times what my other scope had. No, actually, about two times. That's a concrete mailbox I put in out there. Someone ran over that thing three times since I've been here. So finally I put, built a concrete platform, drove rebarb into the ground. All right, man, love you guys.